I think there are very negative consequences either way. Uh, if, we, if we prevail, um, tolls will more than likely remain. You, you're not going to start tearing down millions and millions of dollars of in-place infrastructure. We're too far down that road. So I think inevitably, back to my approximation of use, I think they're going to basically say, hey, Rhode Island citizens, you're going to feel a little pain with a little placekeeper, 50 cents or a buck, and the big bad truckers who are responsible in the first place are going to pay five, ten bucks, and it all is going to be good. Um, that's the first thing that could happen. If they prevail and it stays on trucks, it's very likely that those protections, they put caps and daily caps in place to protect the local businesses. That was quid pro quo. We're hearing a lot of quid pro quo. Those caps were put in place to protect local businesses and it favors local businesses. Those caps and protections are likely to go away and they're likely to be a very, very negatively impactful situation for local businesses. So we don't see this playing out in any way, shape or form as a good thing for Rhode Island.